Greetings, this will be a, a more condensed, shortened version of a 14 minute video I just did. I'm gonna get this under 10, ideally under eight minutes. Uh, the subject matter is what is the death count in Gaza? Why is it so hard to obtain? Is there a genocide going on or are the low figures to date after eight or nine months indicative maybe there isn't even a genocide? Uh, of course, these are profoundly important questions. And uh, if I had to give one reason that there's um, no clear count of the dead in Gaza, uh, it's it would be that um, Israel is deliberately uh, trying to hide it. Uh, they have been bombing the hospitals where the death records are kept. And that's really actually frozen in time now. We've had the same death count for the past three months of approximately 15,000 children killed, approximately 35,000 total in Gaza killed. But that's fr how could that be frozen in time when the, bo when the bombing takes more and more lives every single day? Um, not to mention, what is the count of the, pe the people who have died of starvation? Um, and, uh, you know, again, trying to spare you, the listener, um, the long version. Um, um, CNN is barring even friendly journalists from Gaza. So you, you take... It's, let, let's just take CNN. I, I used to love them. Now I uh, resent them. Uh, they're friendly to the genocide uh, or whatever is the ethnic cleansing that's being perpetrated by Israel. They're friendly, but it, but Israel will not let CNN uh, into Gaza to report. And it is it not reminiscent of the Holocaust? in Germany, where um, Germany actually hid the fact that it was it was exterminating six million Jews uh, during the for the duration of the war. And only when the allies, if I'm if my history is correct, only when the allies liberated or, you know, entered Germany, uh, did, did, did we did the world realize that there had been concentration camps and that the Holocaust had even happened? And um, so I think that's unfortunately the biggest, but, but then you get into numbers. If, um, you know, the most respectable people we know of, um, and I don't even want to sully their names by bringing them into this discussion, but, you know, United Nations figures uh, say there is a genocide going on. There is a plan of extermination of the entire 2.3 million uh, Arab population of Gaza and to replace it with a Jewish state. And that's corroborated by uh, the statements of Benjamin Netanyahu and his governing uh, council. Uh, I, I have a compilation that I've saved and pu republished of the Netanyahu and company saying their goal is to um, exterminate all Gazans uh, and replace it with a Jewish state. And they're even, you know, so I don't want to get too hung up on it. Um, but um, actually, I don't think it's fair to the public, uh, you and me. We're, we're trying to come to grips with uh, what is going on, how we feel about it, how grave a danger it could be uh, to um, the world. Uh, <clears throat> and yet we can't even figure out how many people have been killed. So it's now four minutes in here. Um, I wonder if we can, there was Pol Pot, if you remember him back in the Vietnam days, uh, he did a Holocaust or whatever. It's, uh, he killed six million people. And I don't think that it was while he was doing it. I'm not sure that authorities were fully aware outside of, you know, Cambodia. Um, 
but it's still, I, I just can't believe that it's not easier for people to speculate. Lancet, the magazine, uh, online publication, whatever, has to come up with a, uh, a very vague thing that there could, the death toll, death toll could rise to 186,000 in Gaza. Well, that's pretty vague, right? That's not very helpful to, and honestly, I think it would be greater because we gotta, we've got to try to estimate how many children have starved to death, how many elderly, how many other people may have just given up their health, uh, overtakes them just from starvation, from Joe Biden and backed by Donald Trump, um, helping to starve these people to death. How so? They they attack UNRWA. They even Israel's been bombing UNRWA. Um, UNRWA is the UN agency to to bring food to the Gazans. Um, so um, I think this is uh, people talk about the fog of war during Vietnam. Uh, I think this is also foggy, and uh, I, I think that um, experts need to summon the strength to start publishing estimates. Uh, and I would say, <clears throat> personally, I'm not an expert, but I, I would say there's maybe 250,000 already dead in Gaza. Why is it that I have to come up with that, right? And I'm not really an expert because they're not publishing it. What's the reluctance here? Come on.